Hello Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and today we're going to talk about my station clock. Uh, there's a company called QRP Labs. It's QRP hyphen labs.com and one of the many things that they make is a clock and not only it's any old clock it is uh, got a GPS receiver on it so it is getting just fantastically accurate time down to the millisecond and that's been my station clock for a long time now I made this clock in May of last year and it comes with a two-line display well, uh, some months back I purchased a four-line display, which the clock will also support, because I would look at the clock, which is, of course, the most accurate clock in the house, being a GPS clock, and I had it set to UTC, or uh, Coordinated Time, Universal Coordinated Time. Uh, the, by the way, it's the UT sub C that gets you to the Universal Time dash Coordinated. Um, it's actually atomic time that's sort of reference to astronomical time, which makes it different from GMT, which is actually astronomical time, yada, yada, yada. There's a lot of very interesting stuff about telling time. But um, be that as it may, um, I wanted the four-line display because I wanted a line on there for local time. And so I got the four-line display, and the clock is capable of managing a four-line display. So I went to program it and uh, found out there's a bug in the software. So anyway, what I'm going to show you first is what I had to do to get the four-line display on. It came with what, a little what's called a header uh, that I had to solder on and uh, then plug that into the clock. And I'll show you how that works. And then um, we'll... Uh, uh, talk a little bit about the programming and the problem that I'm having right now. Okay, this is a little clock from QRP Labs. This is where the power goes in right here, and this is where the GPS attaches. And it is a clock. It has a crystal on it right there. Um, but uh, when it's connected to the GPS, it's actually just a readout of the GPS and it keeps track of what the GPS says, so if we lose the GPS for any reason, it'll keep counting as a clock. Um, so I'm going to replace this with this, a big four-line display. And it's got the same pinout right there. And I need to put in this. There, and it's got one too many pins, so we're going to take a pin off. Now this will fit right there, and then go in there. Now the best way to solder this, we'll solder it from the top. We're going to take this and we're going to put it in here. Um, and then we're going to put it in here and push this down so it won't go in all the way. We're going to put it just right there. Okay, and then we're going to solder all these little pins right here. Okay, soldering iron should be hot enough. We're going to use a thin little solder here. I got this from Radio Shack as they were going through their final closure. We're going to use a very tiny tip on here, okay. And we'll just solder these. And one. Two. Very shaky hands, and this isn't holding down very well. Let's just take a piece of tape, and a hold that thing in place. I don't know how well that'll work. We'll find out.
they are all soldered. Okay, now we're going to go try the, uh, the thing and see what happens. Now once we get this done, we've got a whole bunch of programming to do. Okay, that's looking good so far. Let me put the GPS in, which goes in this way. I'm going to wait for the GPS to start tracking. And there we go. Okay, we've got uh, actually a few more characters over here we can go. And now this is the programming that was in it. It was the two lines. Okay, now we need to reprogram it to get four lines. I'm just going to put up here on the top KE0OG station clock. And then a line which is UTC, a line which is local time. And then a line which alternates through the GPS numbers, the latitude, longitude, and altitude. Okay, now to do that we need to get out the manual for this thing and uh, look at how the thing is programmed. There are only two buttons on the back for programming so <laughs> we'll be having fun with those. Alright. Okay, these are the clock instructions. I put the clock together on 31st of May uh, last year so it's been 11 months. Uh, it's put together on the circuit, same circuit board used by the uh, QRP Labs QCX except most of it's unpopulated. It basically it's got a clock on it and uh, a screen that can be used. But then after you get it put together you have to program it. Now this is for the current firmware that I have C102A and there's a known bug in there and I hit it. Uh, this is the programming for example for um, the local time for line uh, 3, uh, hash nd, hash nm, hash n year, uh, that's local day month year, a space, hash local hour, colon, local minute, colon, and number of seconds. The number of seconds isn't local or UTC because it's the same as doing that. And then here's all the different programming options for the thing. It just goes on and on and on. The problem, of course, is as shown here. Okay, I'm going to talk about the problem. Okay, we're looking at it right now. It has the four-line display in it. The four-line display worked instantly. There were no issues with it at all. Um, this, the top line is static, KE0OG station clock. The second line, the UTC, is a phrase that's static. Then it gives the UTC day and a heartbeat and the UTC time down to the second and uh, that is extremely accurate because that little heartbeat comes right on the second and then underneath is the local time and you see the error it's one day off uh, it's still only 2300 UTC so it's not yet turned to the new day uh, the local day is one day off here it should also be 03 May but 1700 hours I may change that to be uh, AM and PM. Underneath are the GPS, um, we see longitude, latitude, and altitude. The new firmware will do altitude in feet. And so since that's used all over the US, I'll, I'll do that in feet. Um, we're at 7,000 feet. And then I've also got DM68CG which is my grid square, which is accurate. All right, so there we are, and you can see what the problem is. I do have updated firmware for it, but the problem is I've got to put it into that uh, programmable uh, memory. And uh, I have the little um, board here. This is the Arduino Uno board and that's the same chip right there and I understand that this can be used if I were to put that chip into here and program the chip I'd sure like to know how to do that I looked on the um, 
uh, Groups I.O. Uh, page for QRP Labs, and Hans says there are several excellent tutorials on how to uh, update that chip. I'll be doggone if I can find any of them. And then Saturday, uh, when we're having the live stream, one of the viewers volunteered to help me and sent me some information using uh, ask, uh, the Ask Dave form at ke0og.net slash ask hyphen Dave, and it got garbled. So uh, whoever you are, uh, contact me again, <laughs> and we'll try that again. Um, so that's where we are with the station clock. I mean, it works, except it's got the day wrong. Uh, it does everything that I want to, except get the day wrong, when I've got to get that fixed by upgrading the firmware uh, in the clock. So there we have it. Um, good luck with your week, and I hope that as the nation starts to open up, things work out very well for you. And until we next meet, which should be tomorrow, 73.